In this lesson, we're going to continue working on the floor plan design. So I've essentially built the overall shape um, up to this point, and I need to add that door. So there's a couple different ways to do it. Um, you can either use the line tool or you can use this multi-line with the offset. So the line tool is actually the easiest way to do it, where you just essentially are making construction line. You start at the point, you type in three feet, and you know exactly where it's going to be uh, starting and snapping the multi-line tool, typing in my one foot, one inch, uh, press enter, and then I would point my mouth, mouse down and, and uh, type in that 30 feet. So, so that's, that's an easy way to do it. And by all means, do what's easiest. So another way of doing it is you go to the multi-line, and what you essentially are doing here is you're clicking on the snap to the end. And it's important that that green highlighted line is activated. It needs to be there. Uh, and then you snap at that 30, um, that 36 inches, that three feet, and then you build uh, as, as normal. So uh, either way is fine. It's a little tricky though, I find, uh, with that offset and such. So I typically use construction lines or other methods. So then I'm going to come down here 30 feet and then move my mouse to the left on the X axis on the going minus and I just type in positive integers. Uh, I'll type in uh, 14 feet, nine inches, and then I go up uh, doing the math here, uh, 11 feet, and then um, type in one foot, one inch. And so you want to verify all your dimensions before you get too far. So we're going to verify all this. And let's go to our dimensions. And it's important that you have that at, at three feet. And that's a uh, an opening for a door. And then the corner here is one foot, one inch. And I'm snapping it to keep that horizontal uh, justification. And then we're going to go ahead and just verify this dimension. And I'm obviously doing this also uh, in the way that I'm going to be presenting it. So I'm, I'm trying to make this as efficient as possible. Again, just verifying all these dimensions. This should be 14 feet, 9 inches. And then we'll do up here, 11 feet. and one foot, one inch. Okay, so that looks good. Now let's go ahead and start building the other area here. So in the top left corner, there's a room here. Now this can be really tricky. Um, you know, I've seen the textbook try to just uh, have you start at a midpoint, but um, you either use a construction line or there's actually a really, uh, another nice little tool. It's kind of cheating, but it's actually extremely efficient. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to type in, uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to get a dimension. So let's get this out of our way here. And I'm going to go to the dimension, and I'm, I'm following my, my drawing, and I'm going to click on the bottom corner with my dimension. And then I'm actually going to just go straight up and type in the dimension that I need, 12 foot dash 9, and then I'll type in Enter. So what that has given me is a dimension, obviously that's 12 feet, nine inches. And I need that because that's what my drawing says. This is where that, uh, that wall starts. So knowing that, uh, it's, it's obviously gonna be accurate. Then I'll go to my uh, multi-line tool that I've already set up, justification. And in this case, I'm going to select uh, the bottom because it's gonna be on the bottom of that wall. And I'm essentially going to click on that intersection. Now remember that that uh, that wall is five inches. So if I'm looking at my drawing, I have to accommodate that. So the total is going to be uh, ten feet. And then I'm going to uh, continue one foot, one inch going up, and then I'll push enter. So now there's another way that I can also do this here. So let's let's uh, Let's go ahead and and confirm this before I get too ahead of myself here. So um, 
nine foot seven. And remember that wall thickness is five inches, so seven minus five is nine foot two inches. All right, so that looks good. And you're going to have to do math in these drawings. It's just there's no way around it. Okay, so verify that dimension. Now, if I'm going to do the multi-line, the thing that you need to know, and I don't know why it doesn't say, is when you go top, it equals right. When you go bottom, it equals left. So I'm just going to make a dummy little wall here, and then I'll... Um, this is going to be the opening. So it's just easier because I don't have to worry about it getting off. I'm just building a little wall and I'll delete it in a minute. That's actually, I think, the, the easiest way to do this rather than uh, make lines and such. So then let's go ahead to the multi-line. And you're going to just want to make sure that, that it's, um, it's on the top or the bottom or the right. It takes a little bit of practice. And then I can obviously, I've got this dimension here. I don't need this space. I don't want that space. So you want to delete that space. And now here's the thing, you're gonna notice um, there's these intersections at the walls, right? And so we're gonna to have to, to eliminate that also. So verify all your dimensions, make sure everything, uh, before you get too far into it, make sure everything is, is the correct dimension. And I think these little tricks that I'm showing you can save you a great deal of time. I know they saved me a lot of time, it took me a long time to figure all this out. And, you know, we're all still learning here. So, all right, so let's go ahead and back this off so I have that that more of an uh, intersection with that one line. And so if you go up to Modify, Object, and then you'll see the uh, multi-lines, you're going to play around with these. Here's the open, and you essentially click the, uh, the two walls. You have to be careful. Sometimes I'm, I'm accidentally uh, selecting the, um, the dimension line, and that makes it a little tricky. So... You go to the object, you go to uh, multi-lines, and then you want to select here the open T, and you're selecting both walls. Sometimes it takes a few snaps till it activates. There it goes, right? And it's actually still live, so I don't have to go back to it. And so again, I'm selecting the wall. I have to be careful because uh, what's happening is I'm selecting the dimension line. So there, that looks good. And you want to make sure that you do that, all right? And you've completed the lesson.